Man, look, bro. So, I'm tripping off of the fact that these people are talking and, and like, the fans are giving passes to artists not writing their songs. Their excuse is saying something like, a lot of artists don't write their songs. A lot of people to defend Cardi B. Now, if that's the case, I know that everybody in the mainstream might be, you know what I'm saying, having ghostwriter. That's the mainstream. That's the shit y'all listen to. But see, if I found out that this nigga J. Cole ain't writing his lyrics, bro, then I would feel some type of way. Because what's the point of listening to an artist if that isn't how he feels? If that isn't how that individual feels, that's the point of the art, bro. Y'all listening to a brand when y'all listen to a Cardi B. You feel me? Y'all listening to a brand when y'all listen to a Drake. That's the point between an artist and a fucking manufactured industry plant. So if a motherfucker is out here spitting that art, bro, give them their credit. That's the whole point, man. They trying to hold standards low as fuck in hip-hop right now. Nigga, you got Lil Yachty coming out saying he better than 75% of the new generation. It's a garbage-ass song. Nigga, you couldn't even freestyle on Hot 97. You feel me? In 2016. Come back damn near two years later with some old pre-written-ass shit that you had two years to work on because the QC machine trying to promote you. Come on now, my nigga. Fuck out of here, bro. Why niggas holding these standards so motherfucking low in hip-hop, man? You know what I'm saying, bro? Roxanne Shantae was 14 years old. Y'all just was hyping up Roxanne Shantae at 14. What if she wasn't writing her shit? All these black women was just all on that, right? The Roxanne Shantae story coming from the Queensbridge Projects at 14 years old going against grown men, beating them. Dropping classics. But now we holding the standard of a motherfucker being 25 years old not writing her shit is cool? How is that women empowerment? That's not a good thing, bro. That says that you need help. You just proving other men's points. Y'all call them misogynists. But y'all just proving our fucking point when y'all do shit like that. Crazy. <laughs> this shit wild as a motherfucker, boy. How the hell y'all get past this shit like that? Me and still, I'm trying to hold Drake accountable for all this. I always do. I don't, he's a great artist, but as a rapper in hip-hop, nigga, Blackberry on the screen. Nigga, he's pulling out the Blackberry. Troy Ave, you feel me? The original Troy Ave, my nigga. Fuck out of here. And niggas gave him passes then, bro. I'm not giving these niggas no passes, bro. I seen Meek come up from the street corner rapping, my nigga. You feel me? I seen shit like that. Fuck out of here. I seen Kendrick come from the Nickerson Gardens freestyling in like 2006 in the projects freestyling to where he is now. I might not believe he's an elite lyricist, but he's made it out. You know what I'm saying? He, he did his thing. The machine was behind him. But you know, for him to last that long, it took some. It took something. The cohesive projects, you feel me, of giving y'all what y'all want. Y'all wanted that quote unquote empowerment shit. Maybe 10 years from now, I'll be listening to some Pippa Butterfly. I ain't really feeling this shit like that right now. Because I know he's industry plan. But maybe somewhere down the line, I'll, I'll you know, be older and listening to that shit. <laughs> I'm crazy as hell. But just because the mainstream, all the motherfucking puppets y'all see, don't, you know what I'm saying, write their lyrics. Don't mean that the rest of these motherfuckers in the underground ain't spitting their heart out, bro. Niggas ain't even got to be in underground. Niggas can be kind of underground. Or kind of mainstream. On the, the verge of breaking through the mainstream. And be writing lyrics for all these motherfuckers y'all watching this shit. I wonder who writing Bad Baby lyrics. Daniel Brazoli. That's who y'all need to be paying attention to. <laughs> ah, crazy, bro. I never seen nobody give as many passes as this generation, bro. Imagine if Big Daddy Kane didn't write his lyrics, bro. Imagine if Rock Kim didn't write his lyrics, my nigga. Cool G rap, bro. Imagine if Nas had a ghostwriter somewhere in the cut, my nigga. What the fuck? Black girl lost uh, all, you know, rewind. All that shit wouldn't mean nothing, my nigga. All that shit wouldn't mean nothing if you found out Nas had ghostwriters. That's why it's important. 
He telling his story. New York State of Mind wouldn't mean nothing if you found out Nas didn't write that shit. Hey, man, you know, this the standards. Oh, yeah, Funk Flex came out and said something after the album dropped, after all the promotion was done. Now they low-key trying to do some type of promotion of Nicki, you feel me? I seen Joe Budden come out in support of, you know, talking about Atlantic paying motherfuckers. Atlantic pays for channels to get deleted. Atlantic pays for whole Twitter accounts to be deleted, Instagram accounts. They go hard like that when it came to this Cardi B shit. That's why Cardi B on the stage performing while pregnant. She got to run that shit back up. Just like NBA Youngboy trying to get out of that contract. Nigga, you done fucked up, boy. They got you out that jam like two, three times. Your ass supposed to be gone. Ten years on an attempted murder drive-by? You slamming a girl on camera? Get arrested? And you right back out here? They gave you a bond? Really? Really, my nigga? Yeah, and then you can't drop your album? Well, that's because they finna slave your ass. He dropping his, he gonna still have the tour. You feel me? You done fucked up. You gotta run that shit back up. They put that money into it. He signed to Atlantic as well. They promoting Bad Baby. She going on tour. Her album gonna drop. They, they invested into pro, promoting her. They promoted Cardi B. Now it's Bad Baby turn. Look for more industry tactics. Look for more gimmicks. Look for more um, promotion. You feel me? Look for her to be on Jimmy Kimmel or some shit. Saturday Night Live or some shit, bro. That's how corny this shit gonna get. But y'all giving passes to this. The fact that girl go from Dr. Phil to rapping. Fuck out of here. I went from stripping to rapping. Well, I went from Dr. Phil to rapping. Now these bitches mad. Looking ass. Same thing, right? Same fucking thing. Ratchet behavior supported. Oh, I like her come up. Why y'all not supporting Bad Baby? Same thing as Cardi B. Y'all don't like her come up? Really? <laughs> Goof ass shit. These unorthodox ass ways of coming up in the, in the industry. Nah, this shit corny, bro. Niggas, niggas is ignoring whole lyricists out here who came in the game specifically to rap. Motherfuckers that was females that was write poetry. Females that could spit. Females that ain't got to sell you sexuality. You feel me? Females that ain't got to give you gimmicks. But hey. <laughs> Keep supporting these goof ass shit. You goofy motherfuckers, man. That's why you don't let people dictate what hip hop is. These outsiders, bro. That's why I was tripping off that New York shit, bro. Niggas let these motherfuckers dictate it, man. Y'all from New York. If I was from New York, my credibility would be like, damn. He from New York saying this. Nigga, I'm from Los Angeles. <laughs> Where the fuck these New York niggas at saying this shit? I got DJ Academic saying shit, bro. He ain't even from NY. He from what? Jamaica or some shit. But he claim NY. What the hell, man? What the hell? What my song got to say? What Lord Jamar at? These niggas input supposed to be mattering, right? Niggas ain't saying nothing. Ain't said nothing. They watched it happen. That's why Pac was against that New York. Hey, man, I, I should do a video on that shit. I swear I should. New York versus the West or New York versus the South. Feel me? That beef. Because it's in depth of what Pac was really going against. Gatekeepers. Niggas want to beat around the bush. He was going up against gatekeepers, bro. It's supposed to be black entrepreneurship. Cutting a Jewish man out. Doing this hip-hop shit on your own. Niggas, niggas wasn't with it. P. Diddy now. Jay. All the niggas he called out. Look at him now, bro. Look at him. Snoop. Look at that nigga now. Gospel album all on TV. Got a TV show. Steve Harvey type shit. Come on now, my nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. It's crazy. <laughs> man, man, man. And then they trash bro image to make it seem as if he's the bad guy in this whole situation. Try to put it on, you know, baby lane them like them niggas the ones that smoked them. Stupid shit. You niggas wonder why that nigga was killed. Look up his him, Matulu Shakur, and Mo Prem's, you know, um treaty with between the Bloods and Crips and Watts. That shit right there. Look up that thug life, you feel me? That shit. The whole thug life commandments he had going on. Niggas know, man. Niggas, look, y'all not from LA. I keep saying that shit. 
Y'all don't have family from L.A., bro. Y'all don't know. 1992 and watch those areas. What it's come to today because of that treaty. Goofy. Goofy as hell. I'm saying. But you just wonder. Wonder why hip hop the way it is now. Got nowhere other to look. Cardi B, Takashi doing troll shit. How can you support? I don't know. How can you support a nigga that troll for like attention? Nigga called everybody clout chasers, bro. That nigga Takashi called everybody clout chasers. But yet this nigga come out of nowhere talking about some shit under uh, Adrian Broner comment section with a picture with Charlemagne the God. Then just to create a whole beat talking about you can't come to Brooklyn. When you come to Brooklyn, check in. What type of attention seeking ass shit is that, bro? That's that clown ass shit, man. New York. New York, bro. That's that clown shit, my nigga. That's that clown shit, bro. He don't represent NY, bro. He don't represent NY, son. He don't represent us, B. Deadass, we got other things to worry about, son. What the fuck we worried about him for? He's a clown, B. <laughs> Deadass. It's facts. <laughs> ah. <laughs> nah, man. That shit crazy, bro. Nigga, let that nigga run around talking. All that shit. All of it. And don't think it, you know, makes them look bad. Cardi B. Queen of NY. You know, just like somebody said in the comment section, though, it would only make sense for, you know, the um, the stabilization of hip-hop to happen in NY to show you the commercialism of it or the commercialization of it because that's where it was founded. That's where it was formed. So who better to go to than a person from the Bronx? Didn't write her lyrics. Stripper. Twerking while pregnant. Legs spread on stage. I seen another fucking video. Her legs spread pregnant on stage. Like, what the fuck? What type of shit is that? I don't know, man. I don't know. But hey. <laughs> ah, oh shit. Lame as hell, man. So, y'all just give me your thoughts on that shit. Give me your thoughts on this whole situation. Do y'all agree or disagree? Do you see what I'm talking about, actually? Bad Baby will be um all on SNL. Will be on Saturday Night Live. I just said that. Jimmy Kimmel um, be promoted. She will be trending number one whenever she drops the Gucci Flip Flops video. Hey, take my word on that. Trending number one. Gucci Flip Flops video with Lil Yachty. If I'm wrong, I take the L, bro. If I'm wrong, I take the L. But they're going to put that promotion behind her. I see it. By the way, her poster being put up. The way, you know, they're taking pictures with her with the microphone in her hand. At her first show sold out in Santa Monica. Santa Barbara looking at them. Straight Hollywood. If you make it, if you get doing sold out shows in Santa Barbara in California, you already going to sell out every motherfucking where else. Because if they rocking with you like that, I mean, of course, that's Hollywood, my nigga. You know, they bring them out there. That's why I trip off of Whoa Vicky them being down there. And she's from, you know, Georgia. With her being out there, it's like, okay, she got promotion next. She got promotion next. They finna do her like that, you feel me? Put them out there, they finna straight up try the fuck out of y'all. Y'all thought one Iggy Azalea was our, was bad and a Malcolm or over Kendrick at the Grammys. Was bad. Y'all finna look. Y'all finna trip out off this shit. That's why I fuck with Slim Jesus. He trying to be a street nigga so bad he won't sign to a label. I fucks with it. <laughs> I fucks with it. Y'all think Slim Jesus ain't been offered no deals, man? Are y'all crazy to appropriate yet? To like be. It's cool what he doing. Because he's underground. But when it's promoted to us. Like, you know, they give certain stigmas. The mainstream has a certain appeal towards people that they can push certain, like, let's say 10 years down the line, they'll say, like, you know how Complex News got these bullshit-ass, you know, um, articles or 
shit like that where they proclaim dumb shit like uh what what did they say, bro? Is unla unladylike women are winning in twenty seventeen. Had nothing but black women. Name nothing but black women, bro. And niggas let that shit fly. Name Cardi B, Rihanna, um shit, Janae Aiko and Scissor. Janae Aiko, Aiko may be mixed, hey. But still, she got some black in her, so. Kozan tried to come from black people, bro. She black. Fuck out of here. They might not you know, agree with it, but that's a whole situation within itself that we're not going to dwell into right now. But, they, you know what I'm saying? They, they did that. So what's to say 10 years down the line from now when hip-hop is totally commercialized and it's like fully white people and eight pale Asians and pale Latinos and no blacks can get in. The best blacks can do is be ghostwriters. <laughs> ah, that's going to be the reality for you niggas. That's going to be the reality for you niggas, man. The best y'all going to be is ghostwriters with brands all in the front. And y'all wonder why, you know what I'm saying, these Barbie shit. Y'all wanted y'all own, but y'all handing it over. We ain't finna get into all that. But let's just say 10 years down the line, it's like that. Commercialized like that. What will be the outcome of that? They'll say something like, They'll have a title or something. Let's say a big media or magazine. What would be a good example? Um, not Forbes. Not Forbes. Something like... Fuck it. Let's use Billboard thing. Billboard, most definitely. Yeah, that's a good one. Billboard will say, Believe it or not, hip-hop started in Toronto. And then it'll bring up, Hip-hop started in Jamaica. Which you can say with DJ Cool Herc. But let's just say they, they try that, you feel me? Or let's just say they, they try to bring hip hop started in Europe. <laughs> and go back and bring up some bullshit. Who would be there to say anything? Yo, DJs will become white. That's the next step. Yo, DJs, yo, white funk flexes that do shit for controversy. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Yo, white Charlemagne the gods. You feel me? Like in the hip hop community, though. That's the next step. That's slowly but surely. They're going to get these niggas out the way. And the ones that's in this spot going to be complaining when they get kicked out of that spot. Yo, Charlamagne, the guy, he 50-something. Still on the breakfast club. Um, you know, they're trying to replace me with this and that. And, and this is this is the, the appropriation of hip-hop. They're trying to get us out. This is the whitewashing of hip-hop. Too late, nigga. You 20 years late. That's going to be the few. Hey, you ain't got to take my word for it, bro. I'm just a rambling-ass human who don't know what the fuck you talking about. I don't even know. So they try shit like that. They been trying it. Vanilla Ice in the 90s. You know what I'm saying? Shit been going on. Eminem was, a, was one that came through because guess what? He had the track record of actually being a good rapper. He could spit. Before all this other shit, he could spit. They came in the game and promoted him like a fucking gimmick. You know what I'm saying? Had him dressing up as Marilyn Manson. I'm going to say Charles Manson. I get that shit mixed up. Had him dressing up as women in his videos. Corny shit. But yet. People liked it. People rocked with it. Black people rocked with it. And they promoted him as one of the best rappers ever. Whole time you got Jay out here speaking. Hey, I ain't even gonna front. He, he murdered Jay on some shit. He murdered Wayne on some shit. He murdered Jay on Renegade. He murdered Lil Wayne on No Love. In my opinion, he murdered the fuck out. He got a triple entire in there. Feel me? When I'm not even in my heart, so you can still get roasted because Marsh is not mellow. That shit right there, I was like, oh yeah. I was in 10th grade when I heard that shit. Like, yeah, that white boy could spit. He can really spit, bro. Took him for, for real after that. That's when I really gave him credit on his lyricism. But, um, yeah. Him, he, you know, he's a success story of that. Industry plant shit. Cardi B? Eh, I don't know, man. It's looking like, you know what I'm saying, the promotion has made it seem like promote the shade room to, you know, pay this. They take, you know, I did videos on, are my videos still up? No, I deleted that shit. Damn, I'm a motherfucker. I stay deleting videos. But, I had the video up of, um, the girl from Fame and Los exposing that shit. And her, you know, her Twitter keep getting deleted because she keep exposing it. How does somebody shit keep getting deleted if they telling lies? They telling the truth. That's why it keep getting deleted. But y'all just don't want to believe it yet. 
a couple years from now, y'all gonna be trashing the fuck out of Cardi. Y'all gonna be bringing up them tweets. Like, I knew I never liked that bitch. Y'all fake as hell. Fake as a motherfucker. <laughs> I just trip off of that shit, though. But nah, man. With that being said, bro. I'm gone. Like, comment, dislike. Peace.